Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Every student at Ranmore College selected one language, French or Mandarin, and one science subject, chemistry or physics. 60 students chose physics and Mandarin. 100 students chose chemistry. Twice as many students chose French as chose Mandarin. 120 students selected either physics or Mandarin, but not both. How many students are there at Ranmore College? This is a very interesting logic puzzle, and when I received it, I was told only 3% of all students in Singapore taking the competition correctly solved this question. Can you figure it out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Let's get started with the information that twice as many students chose French as Mandarin. So let's say the total number of students that chose Mandarin is X, then the total number of students that chose French is 2X. So we'll put this into the table. Now, 120 students selected either physics or Mandarin, but not both. So we're looking at physics French and chemistry Mandarin. So there's a total between these two cells of 120 students. So if one of the cells, let's say physics French is Y, then the other cell, chemistry Mandarin, will be 120 minus Y. Now let's take a look at this table. The total number of students studying physics will be 60 plus Y. The total number of students studying French plus Mandarin will be 2X plus X, since all students study French or Mandarin, the total number of students at Ranmore College will be the total of these, which is 3x. But we can also look at the total number of students that study chemistry or physics, and that will also be the total number of students. So we have that 3x is equal to 160 plus y. Now let's look at the total number of students that study Mandarin. This will be 180 minus y, but we also know that this is equal to x. So we have x is equal to 180 minus y. We will now add up these two equations to cancel out the y variable. So we get 4x is equal to 340. We want the total number of students, which is represented as 3x. So we multiply both sides of this equation by 3 over 4, and that gives that 3x is equal to 340 times 3 over 4, which is equal to 255. Thus, there are 255 students at Ranmore College. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.